Today's video is sponsored by Chromebook. Chromebook is a tablet that transitions into a laptop so I can get more things done both ways. I wouldn't have the studio today if I wasn't able to stay organized. The Chromebook helps me keep track of my schedule with my Google Calendar, my Google Docs, and Google Drive that I can share with my team. It helps me keep track of all the lights and camera gear that I have in my studio. And I'm also able to keep track of the brands that send me PR. It also comes with a fancy stylus and the battery can last up to 10 hours. Thanks Chromebook for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. This has been a freaking dream come true because I've always wanted a space to work and as I've been working more and more, even with my collab the whole year, it's been such a cluster, um, I think, filming in my personal space and I've been so blessed and fortunate to have a studio space. So today we are going to show you the epic two-story star studios where I work, I edit, my team works as well with me. And yeah, if you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. What else do YouTubers say? And yeah, enjoy this video. Right here we have the couch from Living Spaces, the pillows from Living Spaces, and we have this plain white wall that I want to do something really cool. I just had my launch party for my collab and we had this neon sign. They were going to gift it to me. So I'll have my logo up here in a white neon sign. And I thought, how can I do the white neon sign with a white wall? It'll look so plain. So I thought, why not back it with black? I wanted to see how that would look like. So right here on the Chromebook, I actually sketched it out on the app called Sketch, which you can download from the Google Play Store. And I sketched it out with the HP stylus. So it's really, really cool. And you guys have to understand, I used to do everything on paper and pen and paper and pencil. And it was not cute because we would lose the paper. It would get crumbled. And now I can share files with my team and Peter and see how it looks and get, bring my visions to life under this turban. So that's what I'm gonna do here, do a chalkboard wall up here and then put the Patrick Star logo with the neon sign and it's gonna look super legit. Speaking of legit, I'm gonna show you guys this shelf right here. This shelf is goals. This is actually Peter's passion project. Peter was like, can we please get a, a shelf to display all our gear? So this is where all our gear, our cameras are. And this shelf was from Home Depot. I want to say it was like 70, 60, 70 bucks. And it's really industrial and sturdy and it's open and you can see all the gear. And I told Peter, put all your gear that we're going to grab and go eye level because all my foundations and concealers are eye level. So when you build a unit, I think having everything at your disposal eye level will really help you just grab and go. So I'm going to have Peter explain this and what's on here. So without further ado, Peter, take over. Hey, it's Peter. As you may or may not know, I am Patrick's younger brother. And as he mentioned, this is the equipment that we currently have. So here we have on this shelf, we have a bunch of cameras. So we have our point and shoot cameras all the way to our DSLRs. And then we also have GoPros, some snoots. We also have our lenses featured here and also our chargers and some carry-on bags to where we can travel with. And what's great about this is it's just easy to just grab and go. We're traveling and doing a lot of shoots, so it's very, very convenient for me and it's very well organized. In this bin, we actually have our fabric backdrops. As you guys know, we've shoot a bunch of tutorials and these are, you know, easy and they are nicely folded so you can take a peek, look inside. We have our bottom shelf, which also carries some fabric backdrops as well. And I have a bunch of sandbags in case we need it for any of our in-depth shoots. So yeah, and that is the equipment. Thanks, Peter. That was great. Now, over here, we have this planter. I love it so much. Y'all know we love drag, okay? And we like to stack wigs, and we like to stack plants, okay? So right here, we have not one plant. We got two plants because she was looking a little dry and crusty. This is a planter from West Elm. These plants are fake, so we don't gotta worry about watering them and etc. Over here we have this beautiful big window. It's a little bit dusky outside, but that's okay. We got lights. We have our desk right here. This is a shelf to display. Just a couple of cute things for like aesthetic and vibes. When I was shopping for stuff, we literally shopped everything in one or two days, like I think two days. This mirror right here, I bought it at Target. When I was at West Elm, this same mirror cost $300. 
I said, oh, hell no. Oh. So we got this mirror from Target. Uh, I want to say for like 50 or 60 bucks. And it's such a vibe. And you can see the whole room. And I can't wait to get the chalkboard and the neon logo up there. And it'll look really cute. Over here is the closet. I will show you what is here. We have our gear. So this is like a little golf caddy. <laughs> right here is our golf caddy. Um, it's not a golf caddy, but it really houses all of our tripods there. More tripods. We have our pro photos up there. And then over here, we have our cases for our Kina flows, our Felix cases, and then another drone up there. And that is the closet. I love it so much. And this room is so big and it's so great. I want you guys to see what the room looks like in the mirror. You guys see this? This is my friend Dez. She's on audio today. She's also my stunt devil. How are those arms, girl? Shaking. <laughs> But yeah, on to the next part of the studio. All right, you guys, so on down outside the room, this has to be one of my favorite parts of the whole studio. Uh, first off, can we give a word of silence for my first collab at Sephora, first boy in Sephora, I'm with my Formula X collab, my three nail polishes. I sold this for my beauty room because actually there is an electric box back here and it's kind of ugly, so I thought I would just move it up here for now. Um, but over here is the backdrop wall. It is so colorful and it gives such a studio vibe and I'm completely obsessed with it. And we just color coordinated everything from rainbow to nude. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's right here on the screen. These little hooks were, I want to say $4.99 each. So there are 12 backdrops and we have 24 of these hooks and it's so great. I hired someone from TaskRabbit to do this because there is no way I could have done this on my own. So hire a professional because they're able to put these and ensure that they are safe if you guys want to and put this into your studio. And then this one is a smaller backdrop stand for four foot backdrops here. Over here I have a little linen closet for like random stuff, lady things in here. And yes, yeah, so over here is the second floor two story section. And yeah, let's move on downstairs. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there, but we are now on the first floor of Star Studio. So extra, so extra. Walking down on the heels. <coughs> this is the gallery wall. I was inspired by Shay Mitchell when I filmed with her. She had like something similar where she had all magazine covers so I thought I would feature one of my favorite photo shoots ever by BJ Pasquale for Team Magazine. It's just so awesome to see all these photos because first of all I think he's an amazing fashion photographer. He's Filipino and he captured my personality and fashion in a shoot and it's so so special. I love it so much and I think I'm gonna film some videos right here. Uh, follow BJ. Thank you so much and it's kind of like a vibe. It looks really organized and very clean and I love it so much. Now over here, guys, look at this setup. It is so cute. This is the official seating area. This is Star Studios, a place to create. My friend Taylor designed this graphic for me. I love it so, so much. But can, can you back up, Peter, and get a look? at this kitty corner right here where we have kikis, we have tea here. This couch might look familiar to y'all. It is the living spaces couch with the living spaces pillows. There's a little marble side table with a Polaroid. Okay, so this coffee table though, I had such a hard time picking my coffee table and I was almost going to pick a clear acrylic table, but I thought if I want to get something that's multi-purpose as a blogger that takes product shots, I wanted to get something with a marble because it looks really clean. It's like a nice clean backdrop for products when I do that. Otherwise, you would see the product with my dirty feet under the table. So this is really cool. It's very clean. It's very simple. I have my magazine covers here from Preview and Gay Times really really freaking cool i have this fake flower arrangement and this book was from my birthday party i don't know how it ended up back at my place i had my birthday party at the waldorf <laughs> That was a night. Speaking 
up another epic moment. Um, this is my book from my first Mac collection. I created this book because there's just so many memories and so many people that I want to thank. So I had this book made. It's just so crazy that it's been so long since my first collection. If you guys want a copy, let me know down in the comments below. I'll sign it if you guys want it. I mean, it's... It's a lot of me, but if you guys care to have a copy, let me know. But over here, I have this. Oh, there's a neon sign. Let me turn it on. Oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? Okay, we need to save on electricity and turn this off because... All right, now that the light is off, you guys can see a little bit better what the vibe is. It's black and white with a hint of red because we gotta give thanks to YouTube. And I love red with a little mug and everything over here. Speaking of black and white, this is a keyboard which turns my Chromebook into a laptop. And this is awesome because it looks so official instantly like that because a lot of the times I have meetings here and when I sit my ass down in this chair, it's business. Can we talk about this chair really quick? I got this chair from Living Spaces and everyone did not like it, but it's so comfy. But then I find everyone on my team sitting in this chair because it's comfortable and they liked it behind my back. But speaking of my team, we have a lot of our meetings here and every time that we sit down, I'm able to plug the Chromebook in and make sure that we're all connected to the Google Drive is the calendar, Google Docs, we have video ideas, call sheets, everything, just contacts, we have everything connected. And when I'm traveling and I'm offline, I'm still able to update via the Chromebook. And then when I connect to the internet, the whole team is updated and everyone um, has no room for mistakes when it comes to scheduling and such. Literally, I would not have my career if I didn't stay organized with everything. Can we just take one last look at this corner? This corner is like my favorite. I really love it when guests or managers or agents or talent uh, for collabs come over and we can just hang out, have a kiki, and um, just have some tea. So um, if I have a lot of people that wanna come over or they wanna get some uh, fresh air, I do have this patio out here, which is so freaking awesome. And we eat out here, we talk out here, and it's just nice to get out because sometimes being in a studio is just so crazy. And um, it's just awesome and it's beautiful always in LA and it's sunny, it's a little bit dark outside. But yeah. All right, now in this corner of the room, this corner sits actually across from the seating area right next to the patio. And it's kind of like a makeshift desk right now. Originally, this is like the side of the studio that's supposed to be like the photography side. So as you can see up there, we have like my backdrop stands that we're able to roll, but we don't really do photo shoots that often. But when I do, I can. This desk, it's not a desk, it's a table that actually rolls. And we have side tables right here that used to be in an old room. So right now, it's just a little desk for someone to work at. And also, I have this chair, this high chair. Uh, what's really cool about this is that it's high. And also, instead of using the original wheels that it came with, I purchased skateboard wheels that can attach on the bottom so I don't ruin the wood floor. Now, over here, we have a clothing rack for when people come over to visit or hang their outfits. We can just hang it here. And this is where people can be. A star. All right, so this next part is the star of the studio. It is a studio. This is where I film all my YouTube videos. I've been teasing it on my story, but everyone, whenever they walk in the studio, is like, wow, this is like the showstopper. This is what we call the cage. So whenever my team uh, wants me to work, they're like, get in your cage. So I present to you the cage. Oh my gosh, this is where I work back up Peter show the kids this is like all the lighting and I have the second backdrop sit over here the cage holds all my lights and it really eliminates a lot of stands and tripods so what's really cool about this is that I have a lot of table space because I don't have a lot of tripods underneath holding all of these lights up if you guys want a lighting setup video let me know down in the comments below this is a very expensive setup but like i said um i treat it as like a business and i really wanted to invest in myself and 
here we are with my dream setup in my dream studio. So under the reflector is the same rolling tables that I have over there in the makeshift desk. So I have one for me and then one for Peter. And at the end of this table, Peter has a little section right there where he can see me film and he has his own like little thing. And then over here um, is his like chair and such so he can watch me uh, film and do my name -nay and twerking and all that with makeup. All right, now over here we have this whiteboard tucked away in the corner. It says, Welcome to Star Studios. Like I said earlier, I love drawing and sketching things out, which brings me to what's behind here. Does this look familiar to you guys? There are five stick figures with turbans. This is actually what I drew. I've, I've had it up here, I haven't erased it because it's so, so special. It's all five Patrick's from the campaign video that I did uh, with Andrew Valentine and my team. And it's really cool. And I was able to sketch out all the different personalities and then organize the photo shoot down here. And actually on the Chromebook, I have the script. Take a look at this, isn't this so? Funny right here, we have the outfits, we have the personalities, we have fade in, jamming out to junk with headphones, unplugged headphones. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. So the whole script is right here on Google Docs and when me and Des were going back and forth editing, it updated all together when we connected to the internet, like I said earlier. So this is really, really cool and I really don't wanna erase this. So special. All right, now over here, right next to the kitchen is this glam core mirror, which I love. And you guys can obviously see the reflection who's behind there is Peter and Des, say hello. And what's really cool about this mirror is that it's lit, <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, so cool, so whenever I film, I'm able to come over here and check my makeup and everything and see how I look, and yada, yada, yada. Up, up. <clears throat> All right, so we are in the kitchen, and guys, goals, right? Look at this. It's like MTV Cribs up in here. Look at my fridge. This is literally off limits to everyone, including myself, unless we have a special occasion. So whenever we have like collapse, we're like, oh, we can finally drink from here. Because you know, it's a waste of money to just waste all these. But you know, here we are, I'm Filipino, y'all know the deal. We have an island right here. Oh my God, look at this cake from Mac for my collab. I literally wanted to save it for this video to show you guys because it's edible and I want to be able to save it. So it's so cute. Also, if you guys didn't recognize it, does this kitchen look familiar? He spelled on drag 101. This kitchen is from my series Drag 101 where I film here. So I'll add some lights with the team and we'll move the island this away. And this is Drag 101. And we have some flowers back here from my good girlfriend, Jackie, 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 Jackie. Love you so much. Thank you, Jackie, for the flowers. And um, oh, my alarm is going off. <laughs> I have somewhere to go and places to go, people to see. Thank you to Chromebook for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys love Star Studios. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!